Hi, everyone, welcome back to Geeker channel, where we get the most out of your devices. Today's video is all about recovering those permanently deleted photos from your iPhone, whether you're using the latest iPhone 16, iPhone 15 or earlier iOS models. Yup, we've all been there, accidentally deleting something precious and thinking it's gone forever. But don't worry. We've got you covered. Whether you've deleted your iPhone photos recently or it's been a while, we'll walk you through all the steps, ensuring you can get back all valuable photos. Alright, the first thing you'll want to check is the recently deleted album in the Photos app. When you delete a photo in iOS 16 or later, it moves to the recently deleted album and will stay there for another 30 days. After 30 days, your iPhone will automatically delete it. So, to recover these recently deleted photos on your iPhone, Simply open the Photos app, and then tap Albums at the bottom. Scroll down to Recently Deleted Folder. Here, you'll find all photos that have been within the last 30 days. If the photos you want are here, just select them all, and tap the Recover button to put them back. Easy, right? If the photos have been deleted for more than 30 days, or if you manually remove them from the recently deleted album, they will disappear from this folder. But the good news is that, these permanently deleted photos are still on your iPhone, hiding in the background storage space until they are overwritten by new data. To recover them, you're gonna need a little help to find them first. So, here today, we're gonna introduce a very powerful tool called iPhone Data Recovery. It's designed to scan iPhone's internal storage to find all deleted and lost files that are still recoverable. And it's very easy to use. If you are looking to recover deleted photos directly from your iPhone, or if you don't have any backups, just download this recovery tool on your computer. We'll share the download link below this video, so you can easily get it for a free trial. Alright, on your computer, open this iPhone data recovery software, and plug in your iPhone. It works for almost all iOS models, including iPhone 16, iPhone 15 and even an iPad. If asked, Follow the on-screen instructions to enter your passcode. It's about to trust your computer. Once the device is recognized, click the Start Scan button right here. It will automatically start a deep scanning. Just wait a moment, all recoverable results will load on this window after scanning. When it's done, we can move to the Media section on the left side, and then choose the photo categories, like Camera Roll or App Photos. As you can see, from here, we can preview all the photos, and select whichever we want to recover. Alright, tick the checkboxes, and then click the recover button. Here should come up a message box, and ask you to select a local folder to save these photos. When you do so, all these iPhone photos will be recovered immediately and saved on your computer. It's straightforward and doesn't require any technique skills. If you want to have a try, feel free to click the download link below. Alternatively, if you have a previous iPhone backup that was made before your photos were deleted, you can easily restore your iPhone from the backup to get your lost photos back. However, before we start, keep in mind that restoring from backup involves avoidable data overwriting. Any data and changes made after that backup will be lost. If you're okay with this, let's move on. Alright, if you have been backing up your iPhone with iCloud, then you can restore your deleted iPhone photos from a recent iCloud backup. So, firstly, we're gonna reset this iPhone and erase everything. Like we just said, this is an unavoidable step if we want to restore the backup content to the iPhone. Okay, open your iPhone and head to the Settings app. Then tap the General, and scroll down. Select Transfer or Rest iPhone. From the pop-up options, Choose Erase All Content and Settings. This requires your passcode or Apple ID password to proceed. So, enter your passcode to start the erasing process. It may take a short while. We just need to wait patiently until the device restarts. Alright, when the Hello screen shows up, we can now swipe up, and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the setup steps. On the Apps and Data screen, you'll get the options to restore from iCloud backup or from computer. It depends on where your iPhone backups are stored. If you used to backup with iCloud, then choose from iCloud backup. Sign in with your Apple ID and password. 
All available backups in your iCloud storage are listed here. Make sure to choose the most relevant iCloud backup that contains the photos you want back. Once you confirm, the backup data should be downloaded and restored to your iPhone over a stable Wi-Fi network. When it completes, all photos in that iCloud backup will be recovered and be back in your iPhone. If you have been backing up your iPhone to your computer with iTunes or Finder, you can rely on the computer backup to restore your deleted iPhone photos. If you don't have any backups available, the second method in this video would be more convenient for you. Alright, make sure your iPhone was being backed up to your computer before the photos were deleted. On your computer, open the iTunes app. If you're using a newer Mac OS, such as Mac OS Catalina and later, open the Finder instead. Then connect the iPhone. Click the phone icon when it shows up at the toolbar. Alright. Scroll down a little bit, here you'll see backup section. If you're using Finder, you can get to backups in the general tab. Alright, check this computer right here. And then click restore backup. When the selector appears, select an iTunes backup to restore your iPhone data. Ensure it's one that contains your lost pictures. Alright, keep the device connected. It will bring back everything from your backup, including those photos that you have permanently deleted. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these methods worked for you, and you've got your previous photos back. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button if you want more tips like this. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.